Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and I'm just going to go through one of the new features of iOS 6. Obviously I'm running the beta version, it's not a public release yet. I'm going to go through with you guided access. It's something that not many people are going on about. It's not one of the fancy new features, it's kind of hidden within the settings. But I found it incredibly useful, especially because I've got two young kids. So with guided access, the first thing you need to do is go into your settings. Uh, you go into accessibility which I believe is down the bottom here and you can see in the middle here I've got guided access you switch it I mean it's on or off I switch it on you can set a passcode um, let's just go with four zeros for now now the way it's it works now um, is that if you're in a certain app and you want to use it you triple tap the home key so I'll do that in a second but there's also another option here where you can enable screen to sleep so let's say one of your kids is using it or you, if you've been using it you fall asleep you still want to know that it's going to dim after a certain period of you not using it instead of just staying on the whole time and wasting your battery so you can switch that on there now to actually use it uh, I'm just going to go quickly into BBC iPlayer. Let's say one of my kids is watching one of their favourite shows on here. Well, my son is almost two years old. He's got a slightly shorter than average attention span. Uh, and he often switches in between apps like nobody's business. He'll go through like every 30 seconds he'll change apps. And sometimes you just want him to sit down and enjoy what he's watching. So. Um, I triple tap the home key and you can see you get this guided access panel that comes on now. Now you can either hit start to start it immediately or you can actually circle areas on the screen that you want to be inactive. So I know that in the top left hand corner of the screen there's a, a done or a cancel often so I don't want him to be able to use that so I can circle in the top here and that's going to become inactive. Also there's like play and pause will show up in the bottom here and also changing the volume shows up in the bottom right hand corner um, and you can choose to actually have touch off completely and motion off completely but it's up to you now once I start guided access you get a little pop up that says it's been started and if I try and tap in the top corner here it's not going to do anything and you can see the done buttons there, the play and pause buttons here. I didn't quite cover those. But anyway, uh, you can see what it would do if I'd chosen the right areas. Now, if, he, if I press the home key now, it's not going to do anything. It's, he's not going to be able to change. You can't multi, multi finger switch or multitask. So that's it, you're stuck on that. So if your child is using this app, for instance, watching a video, or if they're using an app and you want them to be learning something, then you can choose to switch that on, it's fantastic. Um, but that's basically it. Now to deactivate it, you triple click the home home key again, and then it asks you for the password, passcode, and then you're off. You hit cancel, and you're out. That's it, simple as. Um, if you want to ask me anything else about iOS 6, how to use certain features, don't hesitate to ask me on Twitter. I'm at TIP underscore cam. Um, check out our Facebook page too. It's facebook.com forward slash today's iPhone. I'll see you again soon.